guys, on this episode of Tickle the Nerd, I build a tiny television. That actually works. Check it out right after this. Hey guys, <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna go get a beer, hold on. All right guys, um, today I'm building a, uh, something a little different, a little different than our normal models. Tiny TV kit. This is from uh, Tiny Circuits. I bought this. Just for the hell of it, because I was trying to figure out, uh, I have an idea for, a, for a, a project later on down the road that I'll, I'll share with you guys when I get there. But for now, this was kind of a precursor to that project. And it's basically a tiny little working television. So I've actually never, I've never done this. I have no idea what this is going to entail. So we're going to dive in and check it out together. So, looks like it's got a little tiny uh, 3D printed uh, plastic television. Looks like that's a six button remote there. That's kind of cool. On the back side here, it's got some information. Uh, you put a micro SD card in, you can put up to five hours of uh, video on this. And I'm guessing it plays over and over again, repeated or something, which would be really cool if it does. Less than five minutes to set. Well, we'll see. No soldering. Looks like it's pretty easy to put together. Let's try it. All right. Box aside here. Ah, assembly instructions are online. Uh oh. Hmm. All right. Turn the computer on. Probably put them on the big TV there. That's probably what I'll do. Little card says assembly instructions online. I like to read things on paper, but we'll do it online. here on my big TV. Look at this thing here. Alright, uh, let's see. And then the assembly instructions. I'm not gonna watch the video. Assembly, there we go. Start with your 3D printed TV housing. There it is. Little guy. 3D printed. It's pretty cool. Alright. Gently break out from inside of the cabinet. How do I get inside the cat? Oh, here we go. Ah. Pull the back off. Gently break out the pieces from the inside of the cabinet, huh? What do we got there? broken out. They're not inside the cabinet. The instructions are wrong. They are right here in a little plastic bag. So we get 
those little pieces out there. It says I need those two. All right. Next, remove the screen protector from the tiny screen. Plug the battery into the back of the screen board and the speaker into the micro SD. Okay, my micro SD tiny shot where is located in the speaker. All right, so I have the battery here. And then tiny screen. This little piece here. Tiny little screen. Pretty cool. I'm not going to take the protective cover off yet. I'm going to wait. Even though it's telling me to do it now, I'm not going to do it. Alright. Plug this little guy in. Like so. Speaker. Where's the tiny little speaker? Is this it? Down a little bit here. Aha! I'm gonna plug the speaker into this guy here. All right. So another little board. A little speaker. pretty freaking simple it looks like down a little bit okay the 3d printed switch piece that is broken out the inside of the TV's house um, insert it into the slot of the on off switch on the tiny screen you set the inside switch all right so there's a little switch thing there Screen off, and it says ah, that's pretty slick, dudes. <laughs> that thing's pretty cool. All right, so let me um, slide the little switch into the side of the TV here. TV housing. I'm going to actually build a different housing for this. All right, I'll tell you guys what the idea is. I'm going to, when I get my Back to the Future car built, inside the garage in the movie, Marty hooks up his camcorder. Well, or Mar yeah, Marty hooks up his camcorder to Doc Brown's television set back, back in 1955. And while this TV looks like a 50s TV, it doesn't quite look like Doc Brown's TV. So I'm going to make my own housing for this that does look like Doc Brown's. TV and I'm going to put this little TV screen inside it, make it a working TV, and I'm going to play the Back to the Future movie on it while this sits in my display for my DeLorean. That's way down the road because it's going to be two years before I get that thing built because I'm actually just starting on it now and it is a subscription build kit. So anyway, yeah, that's my plan. So, TV's there. I'm going to switch it to the on position there. I'm going to place the TV inside. I'm going to want to bend these little wires back here. I'm going to do kind of a 90 degree bend because it looks like there's a tight space in the top here. Get this guy to line up. So that switch lines up. So I don't know if you can see inside there, that switch has to line up with the opening in the little toggle switch thing that I put in. And it's a little wonky.
All right, this does not fit like it says it's supposed to. Now, this is a 3D printed part. I don't know if it's not quite right, but it absolutely does not fit the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to shave this down a little bit on the inside with my knife. That's all it took. Just a little bit of love with the knife. And it popped right in. Alright. So, circuit board's in there good. So we get out of the camera here. See, that's what I need to do. Nice and tight. Right up against the front. Pretty slick. Alright. Alright, what's next? Alright, gotta snap the audio board on. So, on the audio board, I gotta get right behind it. This little bulkhead plug connector thing plugs right into the one that's on the back of the screen board and it's got the micro SD slot that's going to stick at the bottom so this guy should plug right into this and there is a little bit of an opening clearance opening for the wire to pass through a little opening there and this I believe is going to snap on like that nice and easy all right, audio board. Okay, and stack the battery into place and remove the adhesive backing off of the speaker. All right, so the battery looks like it's going to go just like this. Throw them in there and take the backing off of the speaker so there's an adhesive backing right off the back of the speaker there. Get rid of that guy. Then it says the speaker is going to get stuck to the back of the inside panel of the television. So, looks pretty good right there. Stick him on there. I don't know if I should have stuck that because I'm going to want to take this apart. Actually, this wasn't too, too bad or expensive. I'll probably buy another one. I'll just get another one when I want to do the other project, maybe. Or I could take this one apart. Not a big deal. We'll figure it out. Um, do -do. Down. TV packing plate back on. There we go. Like so. I need two little pieces of plastic go. Didn't really say, did it? Huh. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I was supposed to put those on the inside. I missed missed the directions there. All right. It's very good. Battery back. Back of the TV back on. Very cool. Little TV is assembled. So, next thing that happens, probably something to do with this little TV remote and this little tiny battery. I did make a video to put in this thing on my little SD card, but let me make sure it's the right format. It's supposed to be a WP4 format. But I don't know if I did that. It is a WP4. Nice. So let me grab my little SD card here. Take my little tiny SD card to put inside. says the card's not found. Let's see here. So up to five hours of favorite video, movies, TV shows, easily out to your favorite, a free tool, blah, 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 and load. Alright. So. Alright. Gonna convert this. Gonna go into back in my computer. All right, just got to download the converter. Doing that now. It's going to take a few minutes, so Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Not a great little file converter that, you know, the program's pretty uh, basic. Doesn't have a lot of little indications that you actually did anything, but when I did look it back inside the, the, uh, the file on the SD card, it did say that File converted. Oh, and there it is. Sweet. Oh, neat. I have it playing the Tickle the Nerd opening. How sweet is that? Pretty freaking cool.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. This was a lot of fun building this little TV. Had a lot of fun doing that with you guys. It's kind of silly, kind of pointless, but it was fun. And see you next time on Tickle the Nerd.